Someone is being paid to spread rumors that Megan is being used as a scapegoat by the palace. The script of the video was snooped by someone. A toast to good company. Hello, and thank you for tuning in to British Royal News, where we will be bringing you the latest breaking news on the notoriously hypocritical royal couple, Harry and Meghan Markle. Meghan Markle's campaign against the royal family has heated up in the latest Netflix teaser for the final three episodes of the Sussex's docuseries, which will be available worldwide tomorrow. In yet another shocking and overt attack on her husband's family, the Duchess of Sussex claimed that rumors would be leaked or made up about her and Harry to make negative press about other royals go away. Jenny AFIA, Meghan's British privacy lawyer has called the purported plot to attack her in the teaser a campaign against Meghan coming from within Buckingham Palace to fit other people's interests. According to Ms. AFIA, who claims to have seen the evidence, and according to Meghan's friend Lucy Fraser, a British former PR manager whose real name was recently revealed by Mail Online as Lucy Meadmore, Meg became this scapegoat for the palace. The Duchess said, you would watch it play out, after implying that she was made a scapegoat. When a family member's story came up in conversation, everyone involved would think, we've got to make it go away. A couple has been accused of using the streaming service Netflix to launch a disinformation campaign against the British media and the royal family. Yesterday, a source close to the royal family said, no one is taking lessons in honesty from them. There has been a rise in requests for evidence of these deeply damaging claims. As far as Lucy is concerned, Meg was made the scapegoat for the palace's misdeeds. Articles about her, whether or not they were true, were fed to the media in an effort to stifle the publication of other, less favorable stories. Jenny AFIA, a partner at Schillings and Meghan's privacy lawyer, has said, There was a genuine war against Meghan, and I've seen evidence that there was a negative briefing from the palace against Harry and Meghan to fit other people's objectives. Apparently, the Duchess limit was reached when she learned of her father Thomas Markle's disapproval of her relationship with Prince Harry. The speaker claims that the barrage of unflattering articles about the breakdown of her relationship with her father was the last straw in a campaign of unfavorable, ugly publicity about her. According to our source, Lucy Fraser, Meghan's mysterious figure, was hired specifically to make the statement that has rocked the royal family. When people find out the real Meghan, they get the chills. She finds new ways to hate and fight back against her enemies, and the whole thing makes the audience sick. You can see right through her because of all the holes in her armor. Again, she's passing judgment on someone. She did this to her own family and to others. She has spewed unending hatred toward the people who have done the most to care for her, including her own family especially her dear father Mr. Thomas Markle, and now the royal family and others. The flip side of Markle's charming grin. It's strange that, upon leaving, she and Harry asked if they could continue to work half-time for the royal institution, but the Queen flatly refused to say no. Her envy of Catherine prevents her from stopping. Jealousy has overcome her and made her act irrationally. She's after Catherine's life for some unknown reason. Her crown came after she had established herself physically, financially, and emotionally with her husband and offspring. To put it bluntly, she see through as plastic wrap. Maybe she needs to hear that jealousy is the worst possible shade for her. The source also said that Meghan had hired Sunshine Sachs to handle her press. The Markles would always have something come up to either overshadow or contradict the news regarding the British royal family. She's taking a big risk by accusing them of the same thing she's been doing herself. She routinely has her people plant stories, and she's been known to ghost her dad for harmless pap photos. A complete hypocrite, that one. She is quick to point fingers at others for the same transgressions she has committed herself. And then she claims that terrible things are being done to her. This is just the way she functions. However, her predictability makes it possible to distinguish between the truth and her truth. For instance, in the case of who made who cry, who is responsible? Megan said she cried, but she frequently makes false claims about the behavior of others. A commenter remarked, Nancy Astor gave women a voice. Mary Whitehouse encouraged women to have their voices heard.
Margaret Thatcher encouraged women to have their voices heard. Nothing Meghan Markle has done has disproved the claims that she is both a weak and a strong woman. Instead of thinking, I must help these women speak up and put my own problems into perspective, she completely ignored them and went for a prearranged interview about herself and her problems when she met women in South Africa who were dealing with real problems, fight for survival stuff, and getting on with it. Don't try to convince us that she's acted as a catalyst for other women to raise their voices. All she can think about doing now is attacking the other women, the members of the royal family. Oh, and all the women who work for her are required to sign an NDA. For example, a source said, a bunch of people who have known her since she left, who have her as their primary source, and only source of information, all have an opinion on the subject. This is in reference to Meghan's fight with the British press. Do not take this as evidence. Legally, this has no chance of succeeding. Therefore, they are extremely cautious about their word choice. It was obviously a lot of work, but they called it a carefully controlled public relations interview for the upcoming engagement. If nothing else, I predict that they will have bored everyone to tears with their own psychodrama in the week leading up to Christmas, when everyone is busy preparing for and anticipating the holidays. The fact that they attacked the Queen and her legacy while she was still alive and intended for her to witness it says everything we need to know about this duo. I remember when the first mainstream stirrings against her started, one insider recalled. It was her antics to show up at Wimbledon in jeans with two of her friends and security, clear out a section, and then complain that the little people were invading her personal space. Catherine and her sister were sent out by the palace PR team to take Meghan Markle out again so that she could be portrayed more favorably. Still, she complains that the palace has always abandoned her and that she has always been exposed to danger. We have yet to see the worst of Meghan and Harry's accusations against the royal family. Harry and Meghan are well aware of the injustice inherent in a situation in which the accused can do nothing to confirm or refute the allegations made against them. Unless they want to destroy the monarchy, I will never understand why Meghan and Harry think it's fine to air all of this publicly. Finally, it's cruel to imply that William married Kate not for love but because she fit the mold. The commenter unfortunately for the palace, they awoke a sleeping giant in Meghan captures the sentiment of many. Everything that she found unpleasant, no matter how inane, or the kind that is the value of fish and chip paper, became an expectation of hers that needed to be removed or explained. As we can plainly see, she is unable to let go of anything. Unless she lives in a society with censored or non-existent news media, she will never be content. Is she to choose between North Korea and Mars? What do you think of Meghan's decision to hire liars to make false accusations against the British royal family in the press? Leave your feedback in the comment section. That this video has been of some use to you is our sincere wish. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button, share it with your friends, and subscribe to the channel. If you enjoyed this newsletter, stay tuned for more. Goodbye.